Greetings and hallucinations, ladies and lads. I am Chancellor of the Harmonious Frequencies of the Mighty Empire of Onion, and this is Age of Wonders 3. Oh, we're back in it again already. It feels like I was just here yesterday. Okay. Uh, if I remember correctly, we were coming up here to wipe out some of these uh, dudes. This epic site, uh, we may be able to take that on as well, which I think would be pretty nice. Move up a little slowly here, so we don't get caught in the woods here. Uh, what was this army again? We've got wargs, buttercups, and earth elemental. He's not quite as tough as I would expect, but he's still pretty tough. And a dire bear. Wow. Yeah, 12 defense on these guys. Eight on those. And yeah, it's a pretty tough fight, I'd say. Okay. We have a spy drone floating around. Uh, go ahead and snag these haste berries. Nobody else is close enough to use them for the moment. Okay. Just because you can. That's good. Uh, we were headed around this corner to uh, try and fight these guys. I think those are haste berries there. Pretty sure. Oh, here we go. We might have a fight here. Fire elemental. A nightmare and two hellhounds. Which are basically fire wargs. Okay, who would I want to attack with, though? Either one, really. You know what would be really fancy right now is, uh... Where are they? Don't they have, like, blacksmith aprons or something like that? Where I can make everybody resistant to, uh, fire? Fire protection? Forge aprons, there it is. Okay. That might help us a little bit here. Of course, with their resistance to fire also, uh, we are we re reduced options, I'd say. Wow. We can hit these two uh, without moving. We have Animal Slayer and plus one range strength. Why wouldn't I do this? Okay. Done. Uh... Engineers, you guys can scurry over this direction to help out with the cannon. Let's see, party robots. Oh, wow. The hounds can really move. The elemental, not so much. The nightmare, not so much. Okay. And none of these guys can move very far. He can trigger up to three times for the fire bolts. It's not that bad. Let's move up to here then. Uh, we can move him out in the open. It should be fine. These guys can't reach anybody anyway. So we'll just move him up here. The only thing I worry about is uh, this guy coming around and flanking them. Which won't really be a problem because we get to defend at the end of this round. So just wasn't quite thinking about that one. Alright. I don't care what anybody says, I'm not putting my jesters up close enough to be attacked. Uh, because I'm sure that that's the first thing he's going to try to do, is attack them. We do have a musket, so we might be able to completely remove this guy from the equation. Can we reach him? Uh, it's possible. Yeah, we didn't fumble, so we got it. They've moved. Okay, let's do a switch around then. Man, I really like the camera controls here. I'm glad that I can rotate and all that kind of stuff. Makes things a lot easier for me. Ok, 
Okay, so we've got a couple of ranged, a lot of ranged units over here, actually. Okay, so we can't get close enough uh, to be attacked from this side. We probably cannot, yeah, we cannot hit them from here, so that's fine. Uh, big beetles I may hold in reserve a little bit. Let's see, he could come around to both corners of here, so even right here would be fine. Engineers, y'all are probably going to come over here because I think I may run the musketeers up to attack. They only have melee strikes, the nightmare the same, and he'll only be able to move out to here uh, even after the hellhounds have moved. So let's run straight up to the rock then. Oh yeah, range penalty. It's still a uh, pretty good damage though. I'll go along with that. Engineers, y'all need to come up close. And swarm darters only have defense of nine, thirty-six health, thirteen. Yeah, so they're they're way better off uh, to defend against these guys than the swarm darters are. Okay, so that's not close enough to be attacked. They have no choice but to go for the musketeers here. We might be able to befriend them. Cannot. Okay, it can only be used once per battle, and I think these count as beasts. I could be wrong. Forestry animal. Okay. Uh, we may move up behind here, and they'll probably come around to attack me. Uh, but if I go ahead and defend, we should be fine. Did we? We already tried to do something there. Okay, this should be alright. I'm probably overthinking and overplanning everything, but... Musketeers? Yeah, scorched for three turns. They didn't go for my uh, leader, surprisingly. The nightmare does, though. Okay. Uh, actually, yeah. To be honest, that's a tier 2... This is only a... Oh, this is also a tier 2. 46 health. 52 health. 10 movement, 11 resistance. Oh no, 10 defense, 11 resistance, 36 movement. 11, 9. I think this nightmare is pretty good. We may try and befriend the nightmare. Cannot be affected. Okay. So we can't... We can't befriend them. Yeah, this is a flanking charge. Uh, it will retaliate, but let's see how it does. Nice. And a level up for them. Good. So let's try befriend animal over here, 65%. Oh yeah, we did it. This is glorious. Uh, we're not close enough here, are we? We are. Oh, good. Three to five <laughs> times two. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Uh, you guys probably won't be able to do much, to be honest. Yeah, two to four. That's nothing. But we should be able to rapid reload uh, the musketeers, and they should be able to finish this off here. Bet. Oh, an explosive death. I'm glad I didn't get too close. And we got a hellhound out of it. That's kind of nice. Of course, we don't have room for the hellhound, so... Uh, we may have to run someone away. I like our... Uh, oh. Uh, army makeup right now, though. I'm not really keen on changing it. Heart of the Volcano? Okay. Uh, this is a a super epic legendary. That's still pretty high for me. Ten gold, ten mana, ten knowledge. I don't know. Legendary isn't a uh, mythic or whatever, so I'm not sure um, how easy it would be to take them on. Let's head over towards the little brigand camp here, though. Brigand hideout, and we'll take them out because I know we can handle that. 
Uh, then we may come get this box of cataclysms, because that sounds like fun. Okay. Uh, these were headed south. Because we have two armies down here. Couple of lookout towers. Wastik is another army. What's all this? Oh. These two guys and the spy drone. They're guarding something though, right? Yeah, scrolls of knowledge. Okay. Yeah, Binham is way up here. Um, okay, so I've got two armies in the south. This army in the center. Right, I've got these guys. These two. We've got a little jester on the way. I'm trying to think about how I need to arrange uh, my armies for the best coverage here. So that we don't have people creeping into our lands and so that... uh. We can uh, sweep towards the east. I don't know why these guys are still here. Why am I headed down here to take out this? Take on this legendary site? I don't think so. Maybe I did. Maybe I'm coming down here to take down uh, these guys first. Looks like there's some gold over here. Other things. Okay, so uh, let's bring her down to this central central area to start working on these guys. This is... Oh, it's five? Alright. There's three dudes here and three dudes here. So let's start out with them. That's fine. And this army could actually come give you a hand with that, to be honest. Who else is here? Oh, wow. Got quite a bit around. Okay, Night Watch, if you want to stay here. And actually, let's see, what do I want to move over though? These three guys, probably? Uh, so these two guys can stay here then. Oops, never mind. Come over here to the side. And you guys come into here. There we go. We'll get that arranged. Man, this poor guy is even uh, lower down on the totem pole than the jesters are. That's pretty uh, embarrassing, I'd say. Okay, can we take on these four dudes with these six? I mean, we're looking pretty good on ranks. Uh, they've got a griffin who can fly. They've got a fell horse. Which is similar to the Nightmare, but not quite as strong. Tier 1 animal, yeah. Tier 3, Dire Bear. So we'd want to take him out first. Maybe the Hunter. They can't do any kind of healing, can they? That's uh, not on the combat. 6 health per turn. I think that's on the uh, campaign map, not the battle map. Shoot bow and melee strike. Yeah, because we can't quite get there. Let's just wait. Let's wait till we have the superior numbers. It doesn't take anything to wait one turn. Nope. We need to research a skill. That's exciting. At least for me, anyway. I love ner learning new things. Maybe I could learn how to speak. Be one of them. Are we missing a guy? Ouch. Why? Oh. Okay. They're really interested in that army over there for some reason.
Now, where's our sixth guy over here? I was sure that we had uh, six dudes in this army. Clearly mistaken, though. Clearly. Uh, do we want to get up behind this rock, maybe? Let's do. I think they're out of range. Yeah. But the jesters, we only have to move up by, like, one to get them in range. I really should have come over uh, this direction as far as I could to try to hit one of them. Uh, but this should okay. Should be okay. Alright. Uh, you could tie him down. The griffin could get behind him, though. The dire bear is the one that I'm most worried about right now. Musketeer. Where would you guys have to go uh, to get to that dire bear, I wonder? The farmers can't uh, make much of an impact. Six to ten. Oh, and a critical. Beautiful. Nice. I like it. Okay, both of these horses can get at this fell horse. The bear has such range. He can get in here to the musketeers, which worries me. He can also get to my uh, leader, which worries me. Fourteen to twenty, but he would only be able to attack once. 20 to 29. Overwhelm. Yeah, this is tough. We might have to... We might end up losing somebody in this fight. Okay. Okay, we got lucky on the uh, counterattack there. So we're bringing up the pony riders kind of as bait. We'll see if they if they take it and come over here, because they'll get an easy flank right here, uh, no matter who attacks them. Of course, the Griffin can get an easy flank on either one of these guys as well, and there's nothing I can really do about it. Um, it's like my Eagle Rider could tie down the Griffin. I think, yeah, the target has first strike. I think the Griffin's tougher, isn't it? 15 defense, 12 resistance. What spells do we have available? Slayer's Doubt. Seventy percent, seventy percent, eighty-five. Casting it on either one of these two would be pretty great. Uh, what else? I shouldn't have closed. I should have gone back to the book. What else do we have, though? Smite. Mighty Meek. Smite is just the straight damage. Plus six resistance. Okay, I think Slayer's Doubt is probably our best bet. I'd say this guy uh, is what I'm... The one that I'm most worried about. Although he can't really get any attacks, uh, flanking attacks against it. <coughs> Excuse me. He cannot get any flanking attacks except against these pony riders right here. The griffin can get flanks on both of these pony riders. Um, and can attack a couple of other guys. So this guy might actually be who I need to attack get this on. Let's do it. Resisted. Of course he is. Now he can't move as far though, so he's not going to be able to flank. The bear can flank and do some damage, but we'll see what he decides on. Uh, yeah. And I'll hold my eagle rider in reserve for right now. Ugh, let's see how it goes. Let's go for the farmers. Wow. Now they're going to kill the farmers, probably. Whoa! The farmers live, just barely. 
Alright, let's get up here and throw our chicken. There we go. Uh, this is a perfect um, time to use my jesters here. So, who do we want to do the damage on, though? Maybe the griffin instead. Uh, we get the flanking attack here, so let's take the most damage that we can get. Okay, resisted the fireworks on both of them, which is pretty sad. Uh, we can't get around that way. Yeah, so we can't quite flank them with either of these guys. We can with, uh, the eagle rider. We can with the pony rider. This ought to take them out. Okay. Is this a flank? I'm pretty sure it is. And it should be a charge and all that kind of stuff. But let's hold off on the actual attack. Oh. Oh, he's... Ah, dang it, he's guarded. How do I always miss that? I don't know. Line of sight penalty here. Okay. Um, so what we need to do then is get him turned around. You know that song, Don't Turn Around? This is the opposite of that. There we go. Simple diversion. Now we can shoot him at full damage plus flanking. Wham. Uh, I'm gonna wait a second. Let's see. She hasn't really done anything. See. Nobody in her range needs healing. This guy does over here. Okay. 8 to 12 still wouldn't be able to kill him. 10 to 14. 14 to 20. If she rolled high, she could kill this guy. I think I'm going to try it. Okay. But we could uh, march these guys back down. And now we're flanking. So we should kill him right away. There we go. Okay, so this shouldn't... This isn't going to be a flank, but we can attack from this direction first. Target retaliates twice for 11 to 16. That seems pretty harsh to me. Okay. This is going to hurt, but we have to do it. Okay, I could. I guess I could have done the wing beat, and he wouldn't have been able to uh, uh, retaliate against that. Now, how does he get a attack of opportunity from there? I guess because he's guarded or whatever. Uh, we have to make it around him, though. I feel. Okay, he's still guarded, of course. We get two attacks here. But I think he's run out of movement. Oh, are you kidding me? Okay, well, Tyra Burt, uh, you get the kill then, my friend. Alright. We took a little bit of damage there, but it wasn't the worst. That's a lot better than actually losing a unit. Yeah, we only have five guys in that army. That totally blows my mind. Okay, let's take the unicorn then. You can be uh, with this army then. That works. Yep, we can head on down towards this inn here. They should join us, I would think. Because they're an independent army or whatever, but... Uh, I want these guys to heal up a little bit before we pop into the... Yeah, this is a legendary too. I don't know if that's a good idea. Got a few... We've got a few gold medals around, so maybe it'll work. Unicorns are pretty awesome, though. Cure disease phase. Phase is super important. I have yet to use it properly, but uh, one of these days I will. Okay. This Modern Warfare was pretty good, I think. Yeah, additional rank. Instantly reassembles a destroyed friendly machine. That sounds pretty awesome as well. 
Oh, wow. That's pretty powerful. That's pretty powerful as well. These, there's a lot of really good uh, researches here. Let's get the extra rank. Okay. I always kind of have to test and see if I've moved uh, certain armies this turn because I get my turns confused sometimes. Okay, we hit on down here. We can take on these two uh, pretty easily, I'd say. We could even probably do that next turn, take on one of these with this army, and then the turn after that, this army will probably be within fighting range. I don't know. Maybe I move this army into the center here, and then attack with this army on both sides. It's a possibility. I'll try it. Okay. So we've got two wisps here. I mean, do I really have to fight this one? I could auto-combat, I'm just worried that we're going to get damaged. Because they shouldn't be that powerful. Stores 15 health to summoned units. I don't think our firebomb is going to work from here. Oh, it totally does, though. Okay. Wham. Physical protection they have. Devastating charge. This will get him. And a critical. Wow. We got stunned <laughs> in the process. No surprise there. Okay, they can phase. Yeah, pretty far away. So if they do that, they'll be able to get a flanking attack on me. There's no way that we're going to be able to uh, make it over here with these guys. What about the pony riders? Nope. Benham, the vicious, can't do it. Pony riders, can't do it. Uh, we could try to... No, we can't quite guard the flank because we can't get this hex over here. We can get up here, though. That should be fine. And getting up here would give them a secondary target, someone else that they could try to get. I don't know why they wouldn't go for the knight, though, because he can't retaliate in his state that he's in. I'm surprised that I don't have uh, a ranged weapon with this guy. I'm going to have to look into that. Thirty-five <laughs> percent. Oh man. Yeah, let's get up here close and then and then do it on him. Let's shout at him. Oh, resisted. Reduced their movement though, so now they can barely uh, get up to any of these places. Requires three action points, so it's messed up their phase ability and everything. Had to attack my knights cavalry head on. Uh, they need the experience anyways. Will we be able to finish them off? Possibly. Oh, stunned though. Dang it. Alright. Ben Amp, get in here. Nice. And stunned. <laughs> Those little guys are fun to mess around with. We still did get pretty injured on that one, but... Uh, I'm going to pretend like it was probably better than how we would have done in a auto-resolve. Alright, let's hop over the hills here. Over the hills and far away. It's a good song. Okay, we don't want to trespass immediately. Village of Gamortis. Sign a peace treaty. That's going to mess with my alignment, which we're perfectly neutral right now. Okay. Open borders and peace. 
We produced a flame tank as well. Next in queue, flame tank as well. That's fun. Uh, Koth is all the way up here already. Yeah, this hellhound needs to find a place to live. Hang out with the dragons. I think that'd be pretty good for you. I didn't uh, take notice of what this is, or what level it is. It's some kind of ruins, I know that, but uh, I didn't see what level it was. Okay, these guys are clearly closer, so... Uh, should be fine. Come on, beg for mercy. Oh man. I was hoping I could show them no mercy and get that 25 positive alignment knocked off. Oh, they have a little defense and everything. I I don't know why I'm always surprised by that, but I am. Oh, only lucky once. Okay. Yeah, I was thinking uh, we were missing an entire army. They're there. Okay, what are we looking like with a firebomb? Oh, we can get all three of them. I don't see why not. Good. Uh... Oh, we don't have jesters in this army. We could probably finish them off here. We could definitely finish them off. Any of these guys. Let's go for the guys behind the walls. Because nobody else will be able to get in there. Musketeers. Y'all can move up a couple. Okay. Okay. I should probably be paying better attention to this. What's, uh, they can still upgrade to, yeah, champion. Okay. So that wasn't wasted or anything. I mean, sure. Gotta do something, right? Blinded, blinking. Let's just charge in. Kill him. That was super easy. All right. Oh, an ice scaper and a crazed chicken. Throws chickens at target enemy unit. Enemy target must resist a six defense check or lose half its move points. Uh-huh. I'll take the reward, thanks. I'm always up for uh, more units. And we're actually going to ship this to this guy, Tyra Burr, because he doesn't have any ranged weapons. Isn't that right? I'm pretty sure it's right. Tyra Burr White Metal. That's a cool name. Alright, Tyra Burr. Where are you at? Do you not have any ranged weapons? You have this. That was a Binham, was it? That doesn't have a ranged weapon? I'm pretty sure he has something. She's got two things. For Jet... You don't have anything. You don't have anything. Okay. Let's let her throw chickens then. That works for me. And where are we headed next? Out of here? That's a mythical ziggurat. I don't think we're ready for that at all. Come up here and see if we can see what's here. Yep, this inn will be our next next location. Quarry. Uh, you can run back home. That's fine. It works for me. Oh, this is uh, somebody else's territory right here. What's happening? Uh, 
Okay. It sure was thinking hard about that turn for some reason. Still thinking hard about it. Okay. Let's take over this inn and see if there's anyone in it. Ah ha ha ha! That will join us. Ha ha ha! In. Oh, here they come. Who are these? Storm Sisters? Or just Initiates? Initiates, I think. And Swordsman? Yeah, there's a Storm Sisters. Swordsman, Swordsman. Okay. Big Beetles. How far can I toss this? Pretty far. So I think coming up to there, yeah, we can get them both. They have pretty good resistance, though. This doesn't do a whole lot of damage. Let's try to get up here in some position. We might be able to do the same. Oh no, with the cannon. Maybe from here, we can shoot him? Yeah. Line of sight penalty minus 75 because of this rock right here. That's a huge problem. If I just shoot the rock, do I, uh... Nope, still obstructed. So this is pretty small damage here, but it's something. Okay, we got max damage on this front one here. That's nice. Jesters, you guys won't be able to hit anything from this distance, will you? Not quite. Okay, and you guys can move up as well. Engineers, y'all might be needed to heal up some of these folk. Maybe not, though. Um, I don't think I want to waste the musketeer on these Storm Sister ladies. Or, I mean, these initiates. Who do I want to waste on them, though? Nobody, really. They have nine health. Let's see. Yeah, overwhelm and charge. Seventeen to twenty six, basically. Okay, where can you get to to where you have range on somebody? All the way back here, really. So I can uh, get close to killing both of these guys, and I can tie them down. Let's see. Okay, they're all out of range, actually. 11 to 16 here. Okay, let's wait a second then. Come up here and do this attack. Yep. Okay. And then you... Actually, could they... Yeah. With the blunderbuss, I'm pretty sure we can kill them both. Critical. Beautiful. Great job, engineers. Okay, we could tie them up uh, by r racing in there. But then we're at risk of a flank attack there. Uh, he hasn't done anything either. Can't quite flank him from up here. Let's run up and see if we can, uh, musket somebody. Eight to twelve. Let's go for it. Boom. We probably had better, uh, spell to use or something. Let's go for it. Might be able to cause bleeding. Oh yeah. We got him with the bleeding. Oh, you haven't shot anybody yet? Nice. I still have swarm darters.
I'm never going to get how they don't have a uh, line of sight broken for this. The uh, blight weakness seems to be stronger with these guys. 6 to 9, 1 to 2. So that's still only 7 to 11. This is 5 to 8. Let's go here. Okay. Died. Bleeding. Beautiful. That was a pretty good fight. Zorthy is uh, pretty beat up now, though, I'd say. A big beetle, an impaler, a long swordsman, and a night watch. I don't think we're worried about any of these folk right now. Mythical Ziggurat. I don't think we're going to go after that. Um, also, because when her city expands, it's going to help her out. And we don't really want to do that. These guys were independent, right? I still want to see what this is. I mean, I could just take the gold. The units will uh, have me produce less gold. I just don't know what I'm going to be using the gold for. Three jesters, holy cow. What do you think I... What do you think I lose jesters every now and then or something? What are you talking about? I don't know what you mean. Okay. Well, since they're here... Let's see, can we get them in the middle? We can. Okay. If we put them on the mountain and we attack here... I mean, there's no way that we could lose this one. Right? It's auto combat. Okay, yeah. Oh, wow. This jester is almost dead. <laughs> Holy cow. That's why I don't auto combat, but... Because I don't see that uh, being a real strong possibility. Can these guys come over here, too? Yeah. Okay, but I'm keeping that one jester in the back, though. I'm gonna have to... No mercy. I'm going to have to manual uh, to keep that Jester alive. Of course, with three of them in that one army, I don't know that we need that many. Oh, I'm a little bit surprised that they moved. All the units on the battlefield are suffocating. Minus 300 morale. Minus 6 movement. Dragons, machines, undead, and incorporeal are immune. Okay. It doesn't look like they're immune. The Fey, I mean. Okay. You're gonna have to uh, run away. Because I'm worried about you. Yeah, it looks like they are all going for this uh, smaller, weaker army here. Simple adventurer. Slingshot. Up to seven times. It's good. How far can they get to? Not that far. Okay. I think there is fine. Yeah. Perfectly fine. Let's move up behind. And the engineers can get up close. How far can they move? Steps. On the steps, right? Yeah.
And the Eagle Raiders are just, just close enough to get within their the enemy uh, walking distance. Okay. I think that's about all we can do. Uh, Frigit could get up here. Maybe throw a curse at somebody. He can only get onto the stairs yet. So up here is perfectly... Oh, wow. Okay, that's something I'm going to have to be aware of. Cursed. Maybe I should have got this one, but we'll see. So my ranged units aren't the best for this because uh, they have shields. That's pretty clear. Oh wow, are you kidding me right now? Let's just move up to it so we don't get that line of sight protection. Or reduction, whatever. Oh wow, beautiful. I was not expecting them to fully die, but I will accept that. They can already hit those guys, so let's go for these guys in the back. Okay, dazzled. Beautiful. Yeah, they can reach either of these guys. Uh, Nightwatch can't really do anything. Let's move him around. This Nightwatch, you could guard. That wouldn't bother me at all. And you can already shoot. Nice. Uh, yep. You come up here to guard these two. Little adventurers can get up here. One damage. Do it. Just so that you're not sitting around idle. Uh, I don't know if I'm... If I'm that ready to do this, but I think I will anyway. Oh, didn't quite kill him. So he's going to go for him, uh, for sure, if he gets the chance. We'd have to move up three more. We'd have to get almost all the way up there before we could target that guy. Yeah, they have, uh, they have pikes, so my mounted guy is going to have trouble uh, trying to get up there. None of these guys are even close to being close enough uh, to do anything here. I feel compelled to move them. Okay, uh, I guess then... we come up here and attack them, see where we're at. Well, Okay, so now we can... Now they're blocked from doing anything in this direction. So we can come up here and attack these guys. Let's just melee them right in the face. Get punched in the face with a nightshade fairy. See how you feel in the morning. Alright, for Jet, do you have anything that you could do uh, to take these guys down? We could raise a corpse somewhere. Have us a cadaver going. We could also death ray these guys. Minus two defense, minus two uh, attack. So that works out pretty good when he's facing this guy. Yep, pull arm. 11 to 16 times three. This is going to be harsh. Got lucky, and they leveled up, and then we killed them. 
It was kind of harsh, but it wasn't too bad. 41 gold. Beautiful. Beautiful. We're helping you guys out. Be happy. Uh, I don't think we're going to have enough movement to get everybody up here, though. No, it doesn't look like it. Oh. Got to level up here. Seven whole points. This is the thing that the martyrs do, right? Yeah. Gain 200 morale. That sounds pretty great, really. Convert is a given, though. Against monsters. Let's go with the monster slayer. I think it only works for her. Uh, but I think it's worth getting at the same time. Okay, were we on our way down to do this one? I think we were. They're probably going to try to give up, but no mercy. They didn't. Oh, throwing chickens. Wow. Oh, what are these guys again? Oh, human civic guards, okay. I thought they were just uh, halfling night watch, but that's okay. Ah, just out of range. It's really frustrating. Critical. Boom! Yeah, we just about toasted them completely with that one. Oh, we can't quite phase behind them, so that's okay. Can't quite get to them from over here. Can we hit them with the chicken? We can't. Oh, resisted. Gross. How do you resist the chicken? I don't understand. Okay. We should be able to get them, no problem. Wham. Oh, we could run up here and we can throw the chicken at the other farmer, probably. There we go. They resisted the chicken once again. Uh, I keep trying to think that that's an obstacle. Well, let's get up here so that they can't flank as easy. Well, I guess they could just come around to the back here. Um, yeah. Okay. Out of range. If we can move up right here, why can't we... Oh, I see. The range is like three hexes away. 65. Oh, resisted? You gotta be kidding me. Okay. Let's just charge. Critical. Whoa. Okay. Uh, let's just charge again. Can we spirit rail him in the back? Kind of. Wham. Okay. They can't hit anybody, though. Neither can they. So that looks like about it. What's your plan? Whoa. Oh, they've got pole arms. That's right. Uh, where's my unicorn? Phase in behind them. And now murder their faces. Good job. Good job, unicorn. Well done. Got it. A boar? 
and 50 gold. Okay, Bort. Uh, you are going to scurry back home, I guess. That's fine. I keep looking at this. It's a legendary. We might be able to take it on. Let's see. Just or a farmer. I feel like maybe if we replace the pony rider with the musketeer, maybe. Or the eagle rider, really. Tier 3, tier 2. That musket does a lot of damage, but we don't have an engineer to reload him. So that's pretty tough, and I have no idea what we're going to be facing in there. So the more damage, or do we want to uh, be able to flank easier? Wing beat is pretty powerful. I should be using that more often. I mean, we could get rid of two. Right, and then just take both of these into here. Oh. Two pikemen, three cavalry. I don't know that I like that, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Uh, I think that's it for this episode, though. It's already been about an hour, surprisingly. So I'll leave it here, and we'll see uh, what we can do in this place. Produce infantry units have killing momentum and plus two damage. Requires dungeon to be present in the domain of the city to function. Cool. Well, if you want to catch that next one, be sure to subscribe. Consider supporting my channel through the Patreon link down in the video description. And be sure to check out any of my other videos or playlists that, I might, that you might be interested in. <laughs> Thank you so much for all the time you spend on my channel. And I hope blessings of wisdom and peace on all of you. Farewell.